I know it's kind of random, but I rewatched the fight between Soundwave and Arachnid and wondered, could she have won? Kinda like a Marvel's What If series. These are kinda similar in the respects though it wasn't my idea initially. I just kinda pointed out moments of advantages and noticed that Arachnid didn't use her abilities which I found kind of odd. But as I added a bit of fun I thought it would be interesting to know how it would affect the episode as a whole if events were to turn out a little differently. If you like this idea and want to see more, give this video a cute little click on the like button and feel free to leave suggestions in the comment section below. Maybe you'll want to hear my opinions. Well, we'll see. I guess it's possible that my knowledge will technically be her power. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's begin. So we first start off with Arachnid going in for a charge and trying to get, do some stabby stabby oh, oh, stab instead him. of trying, I don't know, webbing Sandwave to make him immobile or at least struggling which could give her more chances to get some decent hits in. Instead, she just charges in, which is fine I guess. However, turns out Soundwave has pretty fast reflexes and ended up picking her up by the shoulder. And yeah, I know she's using her servos here as support, but what is her other legs doing? Turns out, not a lot. So why not use them for support, keeping her servos free to shoot Soundwave with her palm blaster thingies. I'm pretty sure it would really do some damage if you hit him in the visor or something. Or excruciating. <laughs> but just saying, maybe she should have focused on her fight instead of throwing out a death threat. Tear out your spark for that! Not only would she have noticed Laser Beak being ejected, but it would give her more time to react. Again, webs, useful. Use them. I also can't help but notice that the room actually puts Soundwave at a disadvantage. The room itself is quite large, however they're stuck on kind of a narrow bridge thing. Not really able to move much. Not to mention you got knockout, breakdown and a handful of drones like in the way, making it pretty hard for Soundwave to move about. Oh. Yeah, they're kind of just in the way, aren't they? You are standing in my way. So that kind of makes it very hard for Soundwave to move about, transform, or even use his Doc Ock arms. Whereas Arachnid, having smaller frame, could move about a lot more. Not to mention climb up and down onto walls, she could at least use her spider form a little more creatively. That being said, maybe she's just not as fast as Soundwave. Could kind of see Soundwave probably using his tentacles to pry her off the walls, so that theory could be a bit debunked. But with that aside, I still think Arachnid missed out big time and could have won the fight if only she was just that a little bit faster. So, there are some of my ideas I made in order for her to win. What would have happened if Arachnid managed to terminate Soundwave? Well, for a start, Megatron would have been abandoned in the heart of Unicron with the Autobots. If the bridge never came, he would have two options. Convince Orion to fight his old teammates by his side, or have it so Orion could protect him. Which, yeah, I believe would start a fight among the Autobots regardless. So Megatron could have to keep his guard up to get out of there alive. However, regarding his fight with the Autobots in an alternate timeline, the Autobots struggled to overpower him until Optimus Prime stepped in. Not saying it's impossible to beat Megatron, I believe if they all attacked him all at once instead of one at a time, you could overpower him in time. But well, Megatron is one tough cookie. I want a cookie now. With Megatron gone, getting Prime's memory back would be a piece of energy on cake. Darn it, now I want cake. Starscream would be stranded and would probably still end up losing his T-Cog with that being said. With no nemesis, no army to command, he will more than likely be on his own unless he comes up with a plan. Though it could make for an interesting video further down the line, so we'll see. Well, that's about does it for this theory. Like and subscribe for more content. And remember, by controlling the web, I control the world. 
and transmission.